Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. In this session, we are going to see about interlocking. Before entering into the topic, kindly like and subscribe our channel for more updates. So, interlocking is one of the important concept in PLC programming. Without interlocking, we cannot able to write a program for the big projects. So, let's see what is this interlocking. So, interlocking is a feature that makes the state of two mechanism or function mutually dependent. So, mutually dependent. Two functions are mutually dependent. What does that mean? If one function is happening, another function should not happen. If the second one is happening, this should not happen. So, mainly in big projects, they will be using interlock for the alarms. For example, if any alarm is there, you cannot able to turn on the output. So, you can able to turn off the output if any alarm comes. Like that, you can make a concept according to the requirement. So, let us see one example here. You have a three inputs and three outputs. See, if this particular output, if the particular output name 0, 0.0 should be in on condition means, it should be on means, this particular output should be in off condition. See, Q0.1 should be in off condition. Same like 0.1 have to be in on condition means, this particular output should be in off condition. Like that we can write a interlocking concept. So, let us write one small example in CX programmer. You have a two inputs. So, I will name this input as 1.00 and I am naming that as switch 1. Okay. And uh, we have an output here and I am naming that as motor 1. Connect these two. So, whenever you are turning on a mode, uh, you know, turning on the switch 1, output should be in on condition. Let us take one more input 1.01. Name that as switch to and connect one output here 100.01 which is M2. So, two motor, two switch. So, my requirement is due to overload, I cannot run both the motor at the same time. So, if M1 is on, M2 should be in off condition or M1 is in on condition, M2 should not be on. Or M2 is in on condition, M1 should not be on. So, like that you can write the interlock using the address of outputs. Say I am putting a normally closed contact and I am giving the M2 address. So, what will happen now? Let us see that. I am putting 100.00 which is M1, right? So, let us go for the simulation mode. Let us see what is happening there. Right. So, someone is turning on switch 1. So, your first motor is running. So, motor 1 is running. So, someone want to run M2 motor also. But they are not knowing M1 motor is running. So, they just turn on the input. So, what is happening, even though they are turning on the switch 2, it is not turning on the M2 because M1 is already in a running condition. So, since M1 is in running condition, we have used the normally closed contact of M1 here. It is not allowing the power to flow from left to right. So, that M2 is in off condition. Same like turn off turn off both. Someone has turned on M2 first. So, they are in requirement of this motor. So, they have turned on and without a knowledge, someone is trying to turn on M1 now. Now, look at, look at that M1 is not turning on because M2 is already running condition. Understood the concept? So, this is called as interlocking. So, this concept is interlocking and you can introduce one more input here if that input is on 
this should not happen like that you can make a interlock so i'm writing 11.0 is one of the input so if that is on this should not happen means you can write a normally closed contact of that particular input in series with the output see someone is using this 11.00 maybe let's take this is one of the uh, alarm condition so alarm is there in that condition someone is trying to turn on motor 1 so they are trying to turn on a switch your switch is on but since the alarm is there it is not allowing the motor to be in on condition so this is interlocking so interlocking is a very important concept so like this you can explore some examples so i hope you have understood the interlocking concept i'll meet you in the next session before that kindly like and subscribe our youtube channel for more updates thank you